So this past year, I kept track of all of my purchases in my 2020 planner and today I want to share with you the best minimalist purchases that I've made in 2020 that have added value to my life and I use all the time. Now this video is not to say that you need to go out and purchase these items that I used to become a minimalist. I just thought I would share with you what I've been using for the past year that have really made a difference in my lifestyle. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos about minimalism and simple living. All right, so the first big purchase that I made this year, I am actually sitting on right now, and it's a mattress. This year, my partner and I finally invested in a brand new mattress. We got it during the 4th of July sale. I have heard that buying a mattress during a 4th of July sale or Memorial Day weekend or Labor Day sale are one of the top holidays to buy a mattress because they have really great deals during that time. So we finally got a new mattress for our bedroom. The one that we had previously was an older one that my partner actually had that we've been using ever since we've been living together and he was using it prior to us living together so it's well over like 10 years old this mattress that we had and they say that you need to change your mattress about every 10 years or so so it was definitely way overdue that we needed a brand new mattress so with the whole quarantine and lockdown that we've had this year we've had a little bit more disposable income to make those kinds of purchases because we weren't really spending it on what we normally spend on which is traveling and going to concerts and shows so since we did have a little bit more money this year to spend on things so we finally decided that it was time to finally get a brand new mattress and We've been sleeping great now and it's just a great feeling to have a brand new mattress. Obviously the mattress gets used every single day so definitely my number one purchase of the year. The next purchases are this side table and this lamp that I got from Article earlier this year. I used to have a different nightstand where it had two drawers and I think I have a photo of that. If I do, I will insert it right here but I ended up decluttering a whole lot of stuff that were in the drawers and now I downsized to just this table as my nightstand and this lamp as well. I really like this lamp because when I'm in bed and I want to read at night I can just turn it on and it's the perfect lighting for that so I've been really loving this table. It's really high quality and made out of glass and this is also just very simple and minimal and it's just been perfect. So also two great purchases that I've made this year. This desk chair is also another great purchase that I made this year. So what made me want to purchase it in the beginning of the year was during the lockdown when it first started, I ended up working from home for a few months and the chair that I had before this was also really old and it was just kind of falling apart and the reason why I never purchased one was because I didn't use it often. So when I started working from home, I was sitting in the old chair and I was very uncomfortable. So what I had to do is I grabbed a pillow to sit on on the chair because the chair had no padding anymore. It was just so worn out and so old and it ended up hurting my back a lot when I was sitting here and I was like, you know, if I'm gonna be working from home, I'm gonna be sitting in this chair for about eight hours a day and I need to be comfortable. So I finally purchased this brand new chair this year back in March or April, I think it was. I am no longer working from home, but it was definitely something that I needed at the time and now I have a new chair. So when I'm sitting here at my desk, editing YouTube videos or doing other things on my laptop, I am more comfortable than I was before. So this was another great purchase that I made that I probably wouldn't have made if we weren't in a pandemic. <laughs> another purchase that I made this year that was worth the investment and I love and use all the time are my AirPods. So when the AirPods originally came out, I was very against them. I just didn't see a point in spending hundreds of dollars in buying some AirPods when I already had the original earbuds that came with the iPhone. 
I never saw the appeal. I was scared that I would lose them because they're just so tiny and I mean they can get lost really easily, right? So I was just hesitant about purchasing it. What made me want to purchase them this year was because my old earbuds were actually falling apart and then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna get new earbuds but I'm gonna get the AirPods just because I had heard other people say that they're great and all and my brother and my sister use them too and I saw them using theirs and I'm just like, you know what, maybe I should just finally invest in them, try them out and if I don't like them, I can just return them. So I ended up purchasing them and they have been amazing. I wear them every single day, especially when I'm at work. I am listening to music or a podcast and getting my work done that way or sometimes I just use this to edit my YouTube videos when I want to be like in the living room and the TV's on. I don't want my partner to be distracted by the sound from my laptop so I'll just pop these in. It's really awesome and now I wish I had them sooner because they're pretty cool. This next one wasn't technically a purchase but I still wanted to include it in this video and it's actually this couch that I'm sitting on right now. So I actually got this couch for free a couple of months ago I think now and I got it from my dad's customer who no longer wanted or needed this couch and it's actually in really good condition. They ended up not using it a lot so they wanted to get rid of it and they were giving it away for free and I jumped at the opportunity because the old couch that I had was a couch that me and my partner got when we first started to live together and we got it for free from someone else like on Craigslist that we found. We had the thought of wanting to get a new couch for some time now and this opportunity came up and we were like, we will take it. It's in really good condition. It's barely used and it's really amazing how much of a difference a good quality couch makes than a not so great quality couch. This year I also bought a new phone and I got the iPhone 8. Before this I had the iPhone 6s and I had this I think ever since it came out so it's been a really long time. I've had it for years and years and years and it just got to the point where it was just really frustrating to use and the battery life was really poor so it was really hindering my productivity and things like that so it was finally time for me to upgrade and i obviously did not upgrade to the latest new iphone i didn't think it was necessary i'm not one that needs all those new features for my phone i just need something that actually works and it's going to work for me so i just got the iphone 8 it's not the newest one but it's not super old it's kind of right in the middle so i thought it was going to be a great purchase and i've been loving it so far i'm much more productive now it's not dying on me every five seconds and the battery life is awesome so i've been loving it and it's a great investment as well that i made this year if you guys want me to do a video on what's on my iphone or how i declutter my iPhone then let me know down below. I also purchased some new shoes this year and I actually just got these last month during Black Friday sale and the reason why I got new shoes is because my old ones were actually really worn out. I actually hadn't noticed how worn out the shoes were until my partner pointed it out and the thing was that the outside of the shoe looked fine it wasn't falling apart or anything it didn't look that bad but the inside of the shoe i noticed when i put my hand in there that it was just kind of worn out and falling apart basically so i was like wow i i'm not sure how i didn't feel that with putting my feet in there almost every single day so when i looked and i touched it i was like oh wow like i need new shoes <laughs> So these are my everyday walking shoes for when I go walk my dog or when I want to go hiking. These are the shoes that I wear now and these are way more comfortable than the old ones that I had and my feet are just really happy now when I wear these and the old shoes I ended up just decluttering. Another recent purchase that I made but I've been loving lately is my Vitamix blender. So this was another Cyber Monday sale that I jumped at because I have been wanting a Vitamix for so long and I saw the Cyber Monday sale and I was like you know what I think it's time because the old blender that we had it was just 
not blending it was not doing its job right and it was just really frustrating to blend anything so it's been a while since we've needed a new blender but i like to wait for big sales to purchase things so i ended up waiting for maybe over a year to purchased this Vitamix blender because I wanted to wait for the sale and I finally purchased it and I'm so happy I'm so glad I have been waiting years for a Vitamix blender because they're really expensive they're not cheap at all and I've just been saving up my money to finally afford it and again this year I've been able to save a lot of money with staying home not eating out not traveling and doing things like that so I finally purchased the Vitamix blender. So we've had this for literally like two weeks. It's been already used a lot so I love it. I highly recommend a Vitamix blender if you guys are looking for one. Save up for one of these. Trust me that's amazing. It's totally worth it. Also I did not get this blender brand new. It's actually a refurbished one that they had on their website and I was kind of skeptical at first for buying a refurbished one but it came out perfectly, it works just fine, and I'm really happy with it. So this is going to get a lot of use. So I saved the best for last, and the bestest purchase that I made this year was this little girl. Say hi. Say hi. Mm. This little... Are you going to let me talk? So earlier this year, back in May, I adopted this cute little pit bull. If you guys don't know her name, her name is Calypso, but we call her Callie. And I don't know how I would have gotten through 2020 without this dog. If you guys are pet owners, you probably know how amazing pets can be. And she definitely brought a lot of joy in my life this year. And I just cannot even picture my life without her now. I actually have a whole video about the adoption process. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave it up here and down below. There were a lot of dogs in shelters. I mean, there always are, but this year, especially with these unprecedented times, a lot of people had to give up their pets because of everything and the economy. A lot of people could not afford to have pets during these times. So there were a lot of pets in shelters and a dog is something that my partner and I have both wanted for as long as we've been living together. And we were just never financially ready or anything like that until this year and we thought it was the perfect time to finally adopt a, a dog. So, so glad that we did. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone, I just wanna sleep. Since we were staying home a lot this year, we finally decided maybe it's time to finally get a dog. So if you guys, again, want to hear all about the story, just check out that video and I go into more detail of her story. But yeah, she is definitely the best purchase of 2020. So cute. I could not do this video and not mention her, obviously. <laughs> So those are the best minimalist purchases that I have made this year. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I actually did this video last year as well. So if you guys want to see what I purchased last year, be sure to check it out. I'll also leave a link down below for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really supports me and my channel. Also, Callie says you guys should subscribe if you're not already because we talk about minimalism and simple living on this channel, so we would both appreciate it if you would subscribe. You can't say no to this face. Subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Say bye. Bye.